For five long months, Voyager 1, humanity's most distant emissary, had ceased to speak our language. The silence was deafening, a void filled with uncertainty and concern. Since November 2023, data packets arriving at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory were a chaotic jumble. The once clear and precise signals had turned into an indecipherable mess, leaving scientists puzzled and anxious. Imagine dedicated engineers, faces illuminated by monitors straining to hear a coherent whisper from a machine nearly 15 billion miles away. Their eyes scanned endless streams of data, hoping for a breakthrough, a sign that Voyager 1 was still out there, still functioning. Each passing day, each garbled transmission amplified a chilling fear. The fear that we might have lost contact with one of humanity's greatest achievements, a silent sentinel in the vast expanse of space, had we finally lost it. Was this the end of a magnificent journey that had spanned nearly half a century? The thought was almost unbearable. A bitter end to a story of exploration and discovery. Then, on April 20th, 2025, the cosmic static cleared. A moment of clarity in the midst of chaos, a beacon of hope in the dark. A signal, faint but distinct, pierced through the months of confusion. It was a whisper from the edge of our solar system, a message that Voyager 1 was still there, still reaching out. It was not yet the rich scientific data we yearned for, but something arguably more vital, decipherable engineering data. This was a lifeline, a confirmation that the spacecraft systems were still operational. The spacecraft was alive, and it was talking sense. The data was a testament to the resilience of human ingenuity and the enduring spirit of exploration. The relief within NASA's control rooms must have been immense. Voyager 1 was back. The tension that had gripped the team for months melted away in an instant. The fear receded, replaced by cautious optimism. The journey of Voyager 1 continues. A testament to human curiosity and the unyielding quest to explore the unknown. Diagnosing an ailment in a patient billions of miles away is a monumental task. The engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, are the most remote of physicians. They pored over the nonsensical telemetry from Voyager 1, searching for clues. The culprit was a tiny segment of corrupted memory within the spacecraft's flight data system, FDS. This small percentage held vital code. The instructions that told the FDS how to format and transmit its precious cargo of information. Without intelligible engineering data, NASA couldn't ascertain the health of Voyager 1. The fear was that this vital scientific mission had been blinded. The challenge was immense. With the problem identified, the next step was to devise a solution. Given the impossibility of physically repairing the faulty chip, the JPL engineers conceived a daring plan, a digital bypass. They would relocate the affected software from the corrupted section of memory to healthier locations within the FDS. Each command sent from Earth takes approximately 22 and a half hours to reach the spacecraft, then another 22 and a half hours for Voyager's response to make the return journey. This 45-hour round-trip communication delay meant that every step of the process was fraught with tension. The engineers began the delicate process in April 2025. They carefully crafted the commands to move the code segment by segment. On April 20th, 2025, the telemetry arrived. For the first time in five months, Voyager 1 sent back intelligible engineering data. The digital bypass had worked. Another drama was unfolding concurrently, threatening Voyager 1's ability to phone home. This concerned the spacecraft's orientation, specifically its primary roll thrusters. These thrusters are crucial for making tiny adjustments to the spacecraft's position. For 20 years, Voyager 1 had relied on a set of backup roll thrusters. However, these two were showing their age, facing issues with clogging that degraded their performance. The engineers knew that the backup thrusters were living on borrowed time. If they failed completely, Voyager 1 could slowly drift, its antenna losing its lock on Earth. The engineers at JPL formulated a daring plan to awaken the primary roll thrusters that had been silent since 2004. Their hypothesis was rooted in a deep understanding of Voyager's intricate systems. They suspected that the heater circuits might have inadvertently flipped a protective switch. The proposed solution was audacious and not without significant risk. It involved a carefully orchestrated sequence. First, they would command the primary thrusters to turn on. 
Then they would attempt to restart the heaters associated with these thrusters. In March 2025, the command was sent. The fate of Voyager 1's ability to maintain its vital Earth link hung in the balance. Nearly two days later, the faint signals from Voyager 1 began to arrive. The room was filled with a tense anticipation, as every engineer and scientist held their breath, waiting for the first signs of life from the spacecraft. As the data streamed in and was decoded, a wave of elation swept through the control room. Cheers erupted and the team members exchanged high fives and hugs, their hard work and dedication finally paying off. The readings showed a distinct rise in the temperature of the primary thruster heaters. They were working. This was the first concrete evidence that their efforts had not been in vain. The thrusters themselves had responded. The once silent and cold components were now active, firing as they were designed to do decades ago. The engineers' audacious hypothesis had been correct. Their calculations and simulations had paid off, proving that the dormant system could indeed be revived. The long dormant system was back online. This was a monumental achievement, a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. Todd Barber, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory Propulsion lead for the Voyager mission, aptly described the achievement as a miracle save. His words resonated with the entire team, capturing the essence of their triumph. The successful reactivation of the primary roll thrusters was more than just a technical triumph. It was a lifeline for Voyager 1. This success meant that the spacecraft could continue its journey, sending valuable data back to Earth. With the backup thrusters degrading, restoring the primary system was paramount to ensuring the spacecraft could continue to keep its antenna locked onto Earth. This was crucial for maintaining communication and receiving data from the far reaches of space. This meant that communication could be maintained. The team could now breathe a sigh of relief, knowing that their connection to Voyager 1 was secure. The fear of Voyager 1 drifting into silence was significantly alleviated. The spacecraft, now reawakened, could continue its mission, exploring the unknown and expanding our understanding of the universe. The story of Voyager 1 and its twin Voyager 2 began in the summer of 1977. They were launched on a trajectory that was nothing short of a grand tour of the outer solar system. Their initial task was to lift the veil on these gas giants and their myriad moons. Voyager 1's primary mission focused on Jupiter and Saturn. It gave us our first close-up views of Jupiter's great red spot and discovered active volcanoes on its moon Io. After completing their planetary assignments, the Voyagers embarked on the Voyager Interstellar mission. In August 2012, Voyager 1 made history by becoming the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. Voyager 2 followed suit in November 2018. For all the triumphs, a persistent fear accompanies the Voyager missions. It is the unspoken dread that one day the tenuous thread connecting us to these distant emissaries will finally snap. The recent communication issues with Voyager 1 brought this fear sharply into focus. These events were stark reminders of the profound fragility of operating nearly 50-year-old spacecraft billions of miles from home. The signals from the Voyagers are incredibly faint and must be painstakingly teased from the cosmic background noise. Each anomaly triggers a cascade of anxieties. The fear is not just about losing a valuable scientific instrument, it's about losing a connection to something historic. This constant awareness of their vulnerability makes every successfully decoded message feel like a monumental victory. As the Voyager spacecraft continue their journey into the vast unknown, they carry with them the hopes and dreams of humanity. NASA engineers are engaged in a delicate balancing act to prolong their operational lives. Every decision is critical as they work tirelessly to ensure that these spacecraft can continue to function and send valuable data back to Earth. Power is a dwindling resource. The spacecraft's power systems, once robust, are now aging and weakening, making it a challenge to keep them operational. To conserve what little energy remains, instruments are being selectively shut down. Each instrument turned off is a bittersweet moment, a step closer to the end of an era. 
The hope is that these intrepid explorers will continue to send back data from interstellar space for a few more years. Every bit of information they transmit is a treasure trove for scientists. But even after their transmitters fall silent forever, their journey will be far from over. They will continue to drift through the cosmos, silent witnesses to the vastness of space. They will continue to coast onward, silently traversing the Milky Way galaxy for millions, perhaps billions of years. Their paths will take them through the uncharted territories of our galaxy. Attached to the side of each Voyager spacecraft is a golden record. This record is a testament to human creativity and curiosity. These are 12-inch gold-plated copper discs containing sounds and images selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth. They include greetings in 55 languages, music from different cultures and sounds of nature. They are a message in a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean. A message that says, we were here and this is who we were. The recent shocking comeback of Voyager 1 is a reaffirmation of the human spirit of exploration and problem solving. It reminds us that even in the face of immense challenges, our quest for knowledge and discovery endures.